this world even more now has lost enthusiasm, enthusiasm in light of this great trial that the world is experiencing, but if the world does not return to Christ, does not put back at the center the birth of Christ, and if each man and each woman does not want to be clothed with the light of Christ, abandoning themselves to the Spirit, this world will not be able to get out of the trials, because when one trial is over, another will begin and then another, and then another, if one does not return to God. But those who live God have already won the trial, they have already exceeded. Here is enthusiasm and momentum, nothing will be able to stop the children of God, because the children of God live life and live it with their heads held high, proudly, aware of the dignity of being children, with the sole desire to serve God the Father Almighty, who manifests himself in his only Son, and to serve Mary, to make her immaculate heart triumph, so that with her heel, Mary can definitively crush the head of the tempter, of the ancient snake, crush him and win him forever. This is the strength that must animate us, in that spiritual battle that will see the children of God the children of Mary to win and not succumb. Let the dead bury their dead, says Jesus in the Gospel. You live life, you are children of he who is life. You are children of he who is light. Bring to all the light, restore the holy enthusiasm, in the light of he who is light, and only this way, peace can be stable on this earth. Pope Paul VI wanted to establish a day as World Day of Peace. We make our own his words, his invitation. The invitation of this predecessor, reaffirming that peace can be accomplished only and only when all will recognize Christ as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, because this is the will of the Father. And the will of the Father will be fulfilled, and when the will of the Father is fulfilled, peace can be stable on this earth. This does not mean not being able to embrace in that holy conquered those who live another religious confession. It can be done, it will be done in that conquered that must animate all men of good will, trying to establish on essential and concrete points, how to be able together, make this world advance, but this does not mean denying one's own faith. This does not mean calling everyone brothers, because brothers are only and only in Christ. That is why we must first unite, reunite in Christ and then together, keeping in mind his teachings, his absolute truth that can never be watered down and become relative, approach others, proclaim the good news, bring to everyone again that announcement of salvation that only in Christ is fulfilled, to then respect the decision that brother or that sister will undertake. Certainly our task will be to invite them to become Christians, without ifs and buts, invite them, not force them. To invite them with heart with enthusiasm and everyone will be free to accept or not that invitation, this is what we have to do this is no longer said, this is not done, in the name of a not very understandable political correct, but what are we talking about brothers? We want to do the will of the Father, this is what is correct for a Christian. We want to give joy to the heart of Mary, who lived to bring all to the Son, this is what is correct for a Christian. Brothers, lift up your hearts, living enthusiasm, living joy, to be able to live this church, and announce to all that the light is returned. We follow the star, Mary our star, which led us to the little cradle of the baby Jesus, and we found in this second and last grotto the baby Jesus, alive and ready to bring his love, his grace, again in this world. Lift up your hearts to be able to proclaim Mary, with Mary and through Mary, that the light is. And so be it.